Well, I'm really biased. <laughs> I really think there's a program in the government almost anything you need money for. You know, and almost any income, any age, or whatever. And, and But the government doesn't advertise so people don't know. Uh, and it's the new stuff. It comes out every day, new stuff. Let me give you a sample of the kinds of things that are out there. So let's say you're looking for rent, okay? <laughs> and here there's a program, a national program, called the Emergency Rental Assistance Program that is through the, uh, oh, it's actually the through HUD. Now, every state gets these things, okay? So it's not only you know, just one state or whatever. No, everyone gets it, but that's just one national program. And so here's what the District of Columbia has for that. Uh, and they give it out like a couple times a year. Thousands and thousands of people can get thousands and thousands of dollars to pay emergency rental, okay? And it's part of the Community Development Block Grant. See, that's what they give to all the local communities uh, cities, counties, and whatever, to spend any way they want. And a lot of local people have rent problems. So what they do is they set aside part of that for rent. Now, what's interesting about uh, the D.C. government, uh, they also have it through nonprofit organizations in the District of Columbia. Now, here's one, Catholic Charities. They, they're one of the people that give it out. So there's like 12 people you know, in, in Washington, D.C. to give it out. Now, how do you find that or more? See, that's only one program. So now in Washington, if you live in Washington, D.C., and this is true for everywhere, you can go to findhelp.org and put in your zip code and then put in rent. And here for Washington, D.C., there's 77 more programs. And these are nonprofit organizations or government offices that help you pay your rent, an emergency or whatever. That's what they're there for. Now, these 77 programs are golden to me, and they're really important people because that's who you contact if you want to know more about rent programs anywhere. Don't go to Google. You're going to go to Google, get 500 million programs, and you won't know what the hell to do with them. And most of those people will all be wanting to get your money. These people at findhelp.org, all they do is give you money. That's who you want to talk to. More importantly, besides giving money, they are getting paid. Their salaries are already paid. They don't get salaries from you. So they already get some paid salaries. And their job is to help people with rent problems. So that's who you want to talk to. Even though they, they may not have money for you, they're wonderful people to talk to because they know other people that may have money for you because they study this every day. So you have to use these people. Nobody else this is going to be as good, not me or anybody else, because they work on this every day where you live. So you'll find the newest because these programs change all the time. So that's one, one thing to look at. Okay, another thing is uh, medical expenses. Man, you know, what, what people don't realize, the biggest, I mean, medical bills are, are the reason why more people go in debt because of medical bills than anything else. And there's the little secret is that most hospital bills you don't have to pay. But the hospital isn't going to tell you that. In other words, there, there's a study, this organization called Dollar, D-O-L-L-A-R, and then F-O-R dot org. See, dot org and dot gov. That's all you want to talk to because they're the people that give you money. Dot coms want to get your money. They have to. <laughs> they got to pay Google for all the advertising. Yep. So you want to just go to dot org or dot G-O-V. Now, this organization will tell you if you can get, don't have to pay your hospital bill because the studies they've done, 70% of the people who didn't have to pay their hospital bill didn't know it and are trying to pay it. And then it goes on to their debt. Then they get people who, uh, you know, uh, trying to you know, uh, get money from them and calling and harassing them and all these kinds of things. So if you have medical debt started here, particularly if it's hospital debt, dollar4.org. But there's more. There's more. There's all kind of other medical debt that you have. And there are nonprofit organizations that help you with that. That's right. They fight that bill for you. They get it lowered. They get it forgiven or whatever it is. And they know the system and how to work it. You and I don't because this happens once in our life or twice or whatever. They don't know how to game the system. They do. And they're nonprofit organizations. They do it for free to help people. You hear that? 
to help people and don't charge you, to help people and don't charge you. That sounds like a, <laughs> an impossibility in government, but that's what these groups are for. People have to realize that there's more than just making money in this government. There's people, I mean, in this country, there's people in this country that are there to help people who don't have the money. And that's what government's for, that's for nonprofit organizations for. They give you money and help you get out of debt, not get your money and get you further in debt. <laughs> so don't do that. Yeah. Oh, if somebody mentioned like student loans, the same thing. Go to studentaid.gov. Biden has given more student money away than ever before. Studentaid.gov. And you could get hundreds of thousands of dollars forgiven by Joe before he leaves town. <laughs> I do it because if somebody else comes in, they may change that. That's it. These things change all the time. And here, okay, this is called patientadvocate.org. Uh, I'll put all the listings in uh, uh, YouTube, so underneath in the description. And here's another group. It's called Pan Foundation, P-A-N-F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N. PanFoundation.org, that's another paper that help you with co-payment assistance, all kind of bills that you have for medical care. And they have a list of other nonprofits. So that's two I have here, and that listing there will give you. Now there's another neat office for anything to do with medical bills. Excuse me, got hiccups there. <laughs> it's not COVID, don't worry, not COVID. <laughs> and, and, and you go to NeedyMeds.org. They'll tell you how to get free medications, They'll tell you how to get free uh, health care. They'll pay you how to get free medical care, mental health care, dental care, <laughs> and even money to live on while you're recovering from care. <laughs> even if you don't care, <laughs> they care. <laughs> and they give you money. <laughs> and so you know they care. So that's again, that's needymeds.org. Okay, what else do we have here? Mortgage money. The government had a national mortgage program. It's called Homeowners Assistance Fund. And it was in COVID, but there's still a lot of money there. Lots of money. So you have to check if your state still has money. And people were getting up to like $100,000 to pay past mortgage payments. <coughs> so go to this website, hcsha.org, hcsha.org. Okay, and you'll see a list, uh, copy of the United States, click on your state and see who has money left, okay? If they don't, then what you do is go back to findhelp.org and you put in mortgage. And here, where I live, there's 60 additional programs that help people with mortgage. Yeah, you got to call. They're not, you can't, you're not going to be able to, I mean, you, you'll want to be able to find, oh, I'll just find this program and fill out an application and get money. No, it's not going to work that way. You want it to work that way, and I'd love it to have it work for you that way. But if I tell you that way, you'll try to get it that way, and it won't, and then you won't follow up to get it. you got to call. Please call. So what if it makes 10 phone calls to get? What do you do? Somebody's going to give you 20,000 bucks and you're not going to put up 20 phone, 10 phone calls or whatever it takes. Man, then you're not going to get stuff done. You're going to get stuff done. That's important. Um, and somebody said to repeat on the website, uh, for student aid is studentaid.gov. Okay, the other website is findhelp.org. The other one on... Uh, medications and the health care, it's needymeds.org. Uh, oh, I see, for, uh, no, N-C-S-H-A, not H-C-H-A.org. It's N as in Nancy, C as in Charlie, S as in Sam, H as in hotel, A for Apple, <laughs> and then dot .org. Okay, that's an association that keeps track of all these things. And they have a, 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 a map of the United States there uh, of all the government programs that are left and which states have them. So if, you're, if it doesn't have, you call the, call the state even if they're out of money to see because they can recommend other ways to do it. And if that doesn't work, then you go to findhelp.org and put in uh, uh, mortgage and then you start calling all those people. It takes a call. It takes a call. Please call. That's where you're going to get help. And that's what we're trying to do is train people at letsgohelp.com is that um, there are so many programs for everything, any problem. There's no reason uh, not, to, not to have 
that anxiety you have of not paying bills or whatever. We'll show you there's possibilities everywhere, every state. People say, well, there's nothing in Alabama. And there is, but it just, it's gonna take more work. That's what we do here. That's why we have uh, members that will just show you how they do it. They're live, like today. Uh, we have three or four hours of live um, uh, workshops of members that you could ask questions how they did it, and they'll tell you how they did it. So you can do it too. And we give out our own grants. We give out over $70,000 of grants every month just to people who need the money, or members. And that's what it is. The member's only $20. So to me, that's a steal, but it's, it's still a lot for some people. So I have the sources. If you're not a member and can't afford it, all the sources will be in um, on the website on, on uh, uh, YouTube, okay? So this is live on YouTube for everybody, okay? Talk to you soon.